This is the best defense to use in Madden 24 post patch. What? It shuts down the run. It's instant sacks. <laughs> and interceptions all game. So if you want to see what brand new defense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm once again using my Denver Broncos offense and Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment, and they are all up to date post patch. And if you've already purchased an ebook of mine, anytime there's a patch that changes the gameplay, all you have to do is send an email with proof of purchase to madmoneyshot at yahoo.com, and I will send you an updated version for free. Today's gameplay will be against a good sleeper team in the Atlanta Falcons, but this is also my first online game after the patch. But before I get into the video if you guys want to stay up to date on the best offenses and defenses to use in madden 24 after patches like this make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel and i appreciate all the support the defense that i'll be using once again today is my 3-4 odd as this defense was specifically named in the patch as one of the exploit defenses that was addressed but does that mean the 3-4 odd is dead <laughs> The original setup is nerfed, but in today's video, I will show you guys some new adjustments and coverages that I found in this game that will make this work like it did before the patch. My setup for this defense is mostly the same, but I'm still going to use the same for audible plays, as I use the pinch bug zero in most obvious passing situations, but I'm going to use it a lot less after the patch. The cup four drop is my best run defense, the cover six is my best coverage defense, and last but not least, I will reintroduce one of my favorite defenses from last year in the cover four match, which was recently much improved in the update. The first drive, though, doesn't go too well, as I'm still using the same setups on defense to see how effective they will be online and to no surprise my opponent goes right down the field on me mostly running the entire way from under center to the outside and getting into the red zone. From here I decided to try some new setups as there are two that I find work much better now than pinching the entire defense which seems to be what the patch was aimed at. So instead I found in labbing this defense to update my ebooks that the answer is to do the exact opposite and just spread the defense instead and on the very next play we get a stop for a two yard loss. <laughs> Sit your ass down. As doing it this way will allow the inside linebackers to run through the gaps in the middle. On the next play, I decided to try the new coverage for the first time since the patch in the cover four quarters. Since this was the defense that was supposedly improved the most, just make sure to set your zone coverage to match and leave your zone drop settings to default, as he tries to beat me with a double drags concept on the very next play that usually beats every single defense. Nope. Only this defense shut it down as we almost get an interception. On third down though, my instincts take over as I usually manage their blitz in this situation. Only this time I don't spread or pinch, I just leave it alone at default. Usually the linebacker assigned to the running back, put him on a blitz, and hover the guard gap before dropping back into coverage. And the blitz works perfectly as the linebacker gets in right through the B gap, but he gets it away and the safety takes a bad angle, giving up a touchdown. And he should have had a play on the ball. And now I don't know if that was because of the low rated rookie player in coverage or if they nerfed man zero coverage entirely, but we'll find out more in the next drive. I'm also working on the new offense on the other side of the ball in the I form close, which will be my next offense that I put out as soon as I've mastered it. As I make a poor read and throw an interception to my arch nemesis Jesse Bates, who is probably the best safety in the game. Back on defense, we go right back to the cover four quarters as this is the defense we had the most success on, on the first drive, but I am not going to pinch the defense anymore. Instead for my base defense, I'm going to pinch the defensive line to close up the inside run lanes, spread the linebackers for outside run lanes, and bring the safeties down for run support. As these guys will play like linebackers as long as you don't guess pass, before I jump off sides Oops. while making my adjustments. Now that he's in first and five, I know he's going to run since that's all he did the first drive, so I pinch the entire defense this time and guess run to stop him for a two yard loss. Bring that ass here, boy. On second and seven, he switches to an empty backfield look, and we go back to the pinch buck zero as we force him out of the pocket and he floats it to nowhere. Where are you going? He does it again on third and seven, and this time the pressure gets in for the first sack of the game. And he didn't even gain a yard on this series, even though we gave him five for free as he punts it away. Back on offense, we're going to switch to our normal scheme, which is the gun wing flex offset. I already made a full breakdown of this offense, but I'll mostly be focusing on defense in this video. So if you guys want to see more about this, I will have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. As our offense is running a lot smoother now, as we get a big play outside of the tight end on the wheel route. I think I read cover through in the next play, but the safety acts really weird at the start of the play. What? 
at first I thought they passed his play or something until I see it was some weird invert coverage when I get back to the huddle. So when I see him in the exact same defense on the next play, this time I know I just had the pass lead inside more. Break yourself, fool! Back on defense, I am now pinching my D-line and spraying my linebackers and bringing down the safeties for run defense on every single play from the cover quarters, as I think this is probably the best base defense post-patch, as he tries to pass on the next play, but he is lucky it went out of bounds, as everything is locked up once again, including the speed-out routes on the outside, which wasn't the case pre-patch, as this play used to only get stopped by cover 2 zone, but it's now also getting stopped by this. He tries to run on the next play, but we were all over it since he's been doing that since the first quarter to force a third and eight. From here, he tries to spread the field, and the same safety that took a bad angle and man coverage on the first touchdown we gave up gotcha, bitch. steps right in front of that one for an easy interception back on offense i just wanted to run to get a little bit closer to field goal range but that new linchpin on jason kelsey had to be the reason that this run play felt so easy as we take the lead oh shit that's just too easy Back on defense, he is still running to the outside, which is still a natural weakness to cover for since the quarterbacks drop back after the snap, which is why we spread the linebackers to try to stop that. On the next play, though, he tries to run through the hole that this setup creates, and it doesn't work as he gets nothing, as the same safety comes down to fill that hole almost in the backfield as he gets no yards at all. Before he tries to pick up a first down, a simple bench concept, nope, and everything is locked up once again before he decides to go for it from here. Got him. And Sidney Brown gets another interception, only this time we have a lane, as he is clearly playing better in cover for his own than he did in man coverage. Fuck you! Back on defense, my opponent is turning back into a passer as this cover for match can still have issues with post routes from receivers who have inside leverage at the start of the play. So you'll have to watch for that. Before we go back to the cover zero to shut down the run the next play, we stay in cover zero on the next play as well, but the safeties still get roasted on corner routes as he gets inside the red zone before scoring against my cover zero again. God damn it! And now I can't tell if Man Zero coverage is nerfed or my opponent just knows how to beat it, since pretty much the same concepts are working. Back on offense, JC Bates shows up again. And fuck this guy! As I just timed this throw poorly, and now my opponent is pushing the ball down the field. But the coverage is there. He tries that same corner route that beat my Man Zero coverage earlier, and this time the cover for match recovers. That was a close one. As we almost get the pick. On 3rd and 10 though, we still want to send that heat in these situations, so we go back to the Man Zero Blitz and make no adjustments other than blitzing my user pre-snap and hovering the guard before dropping back into coverage. <laughs> As we get an instant sack, forcing him to punt it away. But I keep Quez Watkins back there. Here we go! <laughs> Back on defense, he is still trying to confuse my cover for match with crossing routes, but that only worked before the patch, and it's much better since the update. No for you. And now since he is under center, I'm going back to the pinch bug zero to finish this drive off. As this new setup gets another instant A-gap sack right up the middle to end the half and ultimately the game. So give this new defense a try and let me know how it works in the comments section. And try this new cover for match as well since it is much improved and was much better in coverage than the Man Zero Blitz. But the Pinch Bug Zero might be even better as well since we are getting consistent A-gap pressure right up the middle with the same blitz but from a new setup. Other than that, if you guys want to learn more about the offense that I was using in today's video, I'll have links to that video popping up on screen. So just click the links as I'm sure it'll help with your game. And that's it. Until next time, thanks for watching. Watch it, man. Watch it out. If you just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.